part four. Finally, the pre-processing part is over. Now, let me explain how to use simulation in Recordine. There are several types of simulation, dynamic analysis and static analysis were previously introduced in the starter kit. If you know these two types, it's actually enough. But let me introduce briefly about the other types. Pre-analysis is to check the number of DOFs or constraints of the system. This is the result data of pre-analysis. You can find the DOF and other information here. Eigen analysis is to calculate the natural frequencies or eigenvalues of the system. Scenario analysis is the combination of the several simulation types. DOE is used for design of experiment. It's a kind of batch simulation. Simulation parameters were introduced in the starter kit as well. There are many parameters, but these four parameters are the most important ones. For the other parameters, please refer to the technical support site or manual. End time, it defines how many seconds Recordine will simulate. Step, it defines how many steps will be created for animation. Include static analysis. This is an option to find the initial static equilibrium and then start the dynamic simulation. You can find this option here. Maximum time step. It defines the maximum size of the time step that server uses. The less this step is, the more accurate the result would be usually. For details of the simulation parameters and other parameters, please refer to these articles in the technical support site. For example, this article explains what maximum time step is, how to use it in detail. Next topic is post-processor. Firstly, let me introduce the post-processor for animation. In the starter kit, animation control has been introduced. After simulation, you can use animation control to play the animation of the model. Please note that the animation control is deactivated if you change any parameter that can affect the simulation result. The data which affects the simulation are mass, shape, stiffness, and the data which doesn't affect the result are color, name, so on. You can import the existing animation data. Also, you can use reload animation button here. Here, in the beginner kit, let me introduce how to use camera settings. It is for changing the camera view for the animation. There are standard camera, following camera, riding camera, moving camera, and multi-camera using camera list. It is the combination of these four types of camera. You can open camera dialog from this button. Standard camera is the default camera, like this. If you use following camera, camera follows a specified target during animation. This is very useful when you want to observe an object with a lot of movement during animation. This is the dialog of the following camera. Target marker needs to be set for up direction. This is standard camera. And this is riding camera. Using riding camera is very simple. You put the camera on a specified body. As you can see, it can be used as driver view. This is the dialog of the riding camera.
The next is moving camera. Its location is fixed and it rotates to follow the target. This is the dialog of moving camera. Multi camera is a combination of the various camera types. You can create the scenario to display animation like a movie. As you can see, there is a list of several camera types. You can use this to make an animation like this. You can save the animation as a video file using recording. The codecs used for recording are the ones installed on your computer. The video quality using the default codecs of Windows is usually not good, so I'd like to recommend you to use Google VP8 codec. It is not a default codec, so you need to install it if it is not displayed in this dialog here. You can find the installer of this codec from Recodine Installed Path or Installation Package. Or you can download it from the internet. Let me introduce some additional features of Animation Control. You can open Animation Control dialog from here. Frames tab is the same as frame skip. You can make the animation speed faster with this option. Recodine doesn't display markers during animation, so you can use display markers during animation. So you can use display markers during animation option to display them here. Animation delay is for slowing down the animation speed. Another post processor is plot. This image has been already introduced in the starter kit. Plot is used to draw the curves of the result data. The layout is similar to preprocessor. You can draw the curves by double clicking the data on the database window on the right side. Here is a Recodine model with simulation results. Plot can be executed from Recodine directly. Simulation result is imported automatically. Simply double click the data to draw curve. Initially, X axis is set as time automatically. It is possible to use other data as X axis. You can clear the plot window by the shortcut key C. There are various result data for body, joint, and other entities. For example, pose 1 is the relative rotation angle of the joint. Its unit is degree. In case of rubber joint, Pose 1 means the relative rotational angle of the joint. You can use zoom and fit. You can export curve data as a text file. Select. Specify the number of significant digit. And save it as text file. You can drag and drop the data also. To export them.
and you can add several data at once. The exported data are saved as text format, as you can see. Imported data are displayed in the database window here. Trace shows the various data such as mean, max, and RMS of the curve data. It is possible to show several windows and you can load an animation in plot. It is also possible to load several animations. With math function, it is possible to manipulate curve data. You can use sum or subtract, multiply, and other functions. And degree can be converted to radian easily using this math function. Choose this option and plot a new page. Then converted curve is drawn in the new tab here. This is workshop 3. You can use plot and animation with this workshop. This is the last topic of beginner kit. This was introduced in starter kit. Please remember these four options. Level of detail of graphic, background color, force display color, and position of the pasted entities. This is the model settings for CAD data import. Especially, I'd like to introduce these convert primitive geometries when importing CAD files. I explained that the primitive geometries such as sphere, box, or cylinder can be edited in body edit mode. And they can be used for primitive contact as well. But sphere or box geometries created by the other CAD software cannot be treated as primitive geometries in Recodine by default. If this option is on, when CAD data is imported, Recodine converts the CAD data into primitive geometries, like this. So this is the CAD data, and if you use this option, this box can be edited in Recodine body edit mode. 
One more thing. It is useful to specify the color of the imported CAD data here. This is database setting. You can use filter to hide specific entities from database. This is useful when there are so many entities. As you can see, the bodies are filtered here. Now, we finished beginner kit. There were several workshops introduced during my presentation. To learn Recodine fast, there is nothing like doing it yourself. I strongly recommend you to do workshop yourself, or you can do e-learnings. You can find them here. You can find e-learning tutorials and many other technical articles from technical support site. You can also study webinars by yourself. You can find them here. If you have any question about this beginner kit or anything about Recodine, please use this forum. And as I said in the beginning, most of the contents explained in the starter kit was not covered in this beginner kit. So if you are not used to Recodine yet, or if you didn't study Recodine starter kit yet, then don't miss it. Please watch the starter kit video. You can find it here. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of Recodine Beginner Kit. Thank you.